I was reading about one of the first philosophers called Thales. One big idea of his that stuck out to me was that everything is actually just made out of water. So he thought water was the basic building block of everything. He saw liquid water, solid water, and gas water, and he thought, well, all this other stuff kind of seems like it could just be combinations of various states of water in really intricate, complex ways. And this guy was pre-Socratic, which means he was before Socrates. Socrates was like 500 AD-ish, I think. Today, we know that everything isn't made out of water, but it like, kind of is. Water's made out of what, hydrogen and oxygen? Freaking everything's made out of hydrogen and oxygen. Also like a whole lot of carbon and nitrogen and he he wasn't too far off. And think of just how much of everything like trees and, and people and organic material at least is just water, actually. Like humans are 70% water or something like that. So this guy was way ahead of his time without any of the doodads and gadgets that we have today, like electron microscopes, all the things we can use to actually look and answer these questions and see, yep, everything is made up of maybe not water, but the stuff that makes up water. And so Thales, the guy that came up with this, is, like I said, kind of basically the first philosopher. I mean, before him, there were certainly people who thought deeply about the world, but this guy is the first one, I guess, people really talk about. The guy is remembered today essentially because he was an oddity. He basically had his own ideas about everything. He was an incredibly smart guy. He gamed the olive industry one year just because he was able to observe the natural world around him and not attribute the olive harvest directly to the gods. He was able to notice other things that would affect the olives. One year after a good rain, I guess, he bought up a lot of the olive orchards and equipment and stuff and then essentially had a monopoly over it once it became a really good harvest that year. He also thought that magnets were oh, mosquitoes. He also thought that magnets were alive. They had some sort of life force. <sighs> okay, again, like his everything being made of water theory, it's not quite right. All right, magnets aren't alive, but he probably didn't necessarily mean it was alive in the way we think of being alive today. Okay, so why, why though did he pick water? With his limited methods of inquiry back then, I'd say the reasons he picked water were actually pretty rational. The first one was that he looked out at the ocean and he saw a lot of water. It seemed to him like land was just floating like a dock in water. So he looked out and he thought, look, everything is mostly already water. His second reason was that he thought it was pretty clear that all life forms needed water to survive. And here he had figured out that all life forms are pretty much just made up of water. He saw that water basically in the form of ice, water, steam, molded to fill any shape or container. He understood that water was a versatile substance. It seems to me like the idea that everything is made from one thing and we are all one thing and we are all one and the same that's like, that's innate. We're born with that. The rationale I always try and apply to anything psychological, especially the stuff that we seem to be born with, is why did our evolution design this into us? This feeling that everything is made from one thing and we are all made from that same thing. This just kind of general picture of oneness. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think we are uh, born with that? Or do you think my example of Thales coming up with this idea that was almost correct, so many thousands of years ahead of anyone being able to confirm that this was pretty much true, is this evidence that part of being human is having this intrinsic understanding that everything is one thing and then being forced to go prove it or act it out? Why, are, why, is, that, why is that inside us? Why do we have that? We totally do. Right? I mean, that's almost kind of like the through line, you could say. I would argue, I could argue, in at least one context of all religion. Oneness. It's a through line. Cool. All right. That's the video. Basically, just my thoughts whilst running. I'd like to know what you think in the comments below. Basically, with this channel, what I want to do is I want to keep making videos talking about 
things I like to talk about, like science and philosophy, and I want to put my ideas out there in the hopes that I will get some ideas back. Well, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell that way, I believe, and um, say your prayers if you uh, believe in God, and um, stay, stay hydrated.